In the realm of astronomical exploration, the notion of foreign territory once perplexed scientists. When researchers initially stumbled upon primordial galaxies residing at the farthest reaches of the universe, doubt hung in the air. The prevailing explanation that emerged postulated that nearby galaxies could, in fact, masquerade as exceedingly distant ones. To address this enigma, they embarked on an extensive study of these celestial bodies, diligently sharing their findings with scientists worldwide. The culmination of their efforts yielded the outcome they had fervently desired, a confirmation, against all odds, that these galaxies were indeed authentic, devoid of any anomalies. This remarkable breakthrough owed its success to NASA's superstar telescope, the James Webb Space Telescope, which not only granted us a novel perspective of the cosmos, but also cast its gaze upon the most ancient galaxies ever glimpsed by humanity. With an air of confidence, astronomers now assert that the light emanating from these galaxies has traversed the cosmos for a staggering 13.4 billion years. These findings suggest that these galaxies existed during a time when the universe was a mere 350 million years old, bearing witness to the rapid emergence of the first generation of galaxies. As the spectral data unfurled as anticipated, it affirmed the positioning of these galaxies at the true outermost limits of our observation surpassing even the capabilities of the Hubble Space Telescope. This monumental achievement sparked tremendous excitement for the mission. The question arises, why was it imperative to establish the presence of these galaxies within the early universe? Firstly, this discovery served as a resounding validation of Webb's capacity to fulfill one of its most pivotal roles, the study of the early universe through light that has journeyed so extensively that the universe's expansion has elongated its wavelength. This phenomenon, known as redshift, correlates the degree of stretching of light with the distance it has traveled. Consequently, early galaxies should display extreme redshifts, causing their light to shift into the infrared spectrum, an area of expertise for the JWST. This revelation has, in essence, rattled the very foundations of our cosmological understanding. Secondly, the presence of these galaxies impels us to develop instruments more potent than the Webb telescope, enabling us to scrutinize the timing of the Big Bang with greater precision. The analysis of data obtained from Webb's near-infrared camera and near-infrared spectrograph instrument led to the conclusion that four out of six galaxies indeed exhibited extreme redshifts. This inference was drawn from the absence of characteristic heavy element signatures, such as carbon, in the spectra of these galaxies. This suggests that the JWST is observing them as they existed when the universe was a mere 300 to 500 million years old. Consider this. Our current cosmological understanding posits that the universe is approximately 13.8 billion years old, with the epoch of reionization commencing roughly 400 to 500 million years after the Big Bang. This epoch marked the inception of star formation in proto-galaxies as gas and dust coalesced. This process purportedly took several million years, shaping the universe into its present form. In light of these timelines, well-formed galaxies should not have emerged a mere 500 million years after the Big Bang, as observed by the Webb Telescope. The enigma deepens, prompting scientific consternation as researchers strive to reconcile these galaxies with our existing model of cosmological inflation. The Big Bang Theory, audacious as it is, harbors its share of conundrums. Firstly, it seemingly contravenes the first law of thermodynamics, which asserts that energy cannot be created or destroyed, only transformed. The origin of the Big Bang remains an enigma, as does the abrupt emergence of our universe from the Dark Ages during the epoch of Ryanization. Now we are confronted with galaxies that, in cosmic terms, approach the age of the Big Bang itself. This paradigm shift introduced by the James Webb Space Telescope has ignited a maelstrom of debate. Recent research has built upon earlier findings, wherein scientists posited that these galaxies, despite hailing from the universe's primordial epoch, exhibited a level of maturity akin to our own Milky Way. A new study, conducted to further comprehend their formation, has lent credence to these findings, albeit with a touch of uncertainty. If the data hold true, we may be grappling with the absence of critical knowledge regarding the universe.
Creating a galaxy like the Milky Way with its 100 billion stars requires aeons, a time frame extending over billions of years. However, the James Webb Telescope has identified six galaxies that, astonishingly, surpass the Milky Way in size, even though they existed a mere half a billion years after the Big Bang. This dissonance between primordial galaxies of such immense size and their age challenges our existing understanding of evolution. Yet, we must not disregard the wealth of evidence supporting the Big Bang theory. Factors like the microwave background radiation, believed to be remnants of the Big Bang, align with theoretical predictions. Observations of the universe's expansion and the receding motion of distant galaxies provide further support. Additionally, the prevalence of light elements such as hydrogen, helium, and lithium in the cosmos dovetails with the Big Bang model. Taken together, this body of evidence underpins the notion that the universe sprang forth from a colossal explosion. Nonetheless, the data gathered by Webb has precipitated a profound shift in our perspective. As of the creation of this video, NASA announced the discovery of a galaxy cluster comprising seven galaxies, boasting a redshift of 7.9, a mere 650 million years after the Big Bang. Astronomers leveraged this data to predict the future development of this nascent cluster, positing that it would eventually evolve to resemble the Coma Cluster, a behemoth in the modern universe. This development signifies a unique stage of accelerated galaxy evolution, made discernible by Webb's unprecedented ability to measure the velocities of these distant galaxies and confirm their cohesion within a proto-cluster. It's akin to observing small droplets in various streams and foreseeing their eventual convergence into a mighty river. Consequently, we find ourselves at a crossroads where our understanding of the Big Bang's timeline is in flux. Webb's forthcoming data promises to unveil a trove of evidence that could either reinforce or challenge the prevailing Big Bang theory. Perhaps the event itself did occur, but the trigger remains shrouded in mystery, much like how Einstein's general relativity refined but did not negate Newton's law of gravity. As we stand on the precipice of discovery, the answers we seek may emerge sooner than anticipated. In this ever-unfolding narrative, the James Webb Space Telescope has positioned itself as an indispensable guide, shedding light on the deepest mysteries of our universe and pushing the boundaries of our comprehension. In this foreign territory of the cosmos, the pursuit of knowledge continues unabated, propelling us into uncharted realms of understanding. The revelations brought forth by the James Webb Space Telescope have unveiled a cosmic tapestry that challenges our existing understanding of the universe. These ancient galaxies, seemingly defying the conventional timeline, invite us to reevaluate our most fundamental cosmological theories. While the Big Bang theory remains a cornerstone of our understanding, the Webb Telescope's findings beckon us to explore deeper, to question the very essence of cosmic origins. As we await further data and analysis, we find ourselves on the brink of a transformative era in astrophysics, where the mysteries of the universe promise to reveal themselves in ways we could never have imagined. In this uncharted territory of exploration, the pursuit of knowledge persists, driving humanity's insatiable curiosity to fathom the cosmos and our place within it. What are your thoughts on the implications of the James Webb Space Telescope's discoveries for our understanding of the early universe? Share your insights and opinions. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you never miss out on our exciting updates about lunar discoveries and the future of space exploration. Remember, as we venture into the universe, the sky is not the limit, it's just the beginning. Keep looking up.